Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Welcome to another rip, roaring guitar review. Now today's guitar is this guitar here. It's a Fender Custom Shop Master Built Telecaster. Now needless to say, it is an expensive guitar. Now I've been on YouTube long enough to understand that a review of an expensive guitar kind of polarises opinions, you know. A lot of people will say it's crazy to spend that amount of money on a guitar and a lot of other people over here on this side will say I would spend that on a guitar because that's my budget. So I always try and play the devil's advocate. I have budget guitars and I have expensive guitars. Well, I've got one very expensive guitar. Let's talk about what's in this video. So what is in this video? I'll be looking at that guitar. I'll be looking at the construction of it and the sounds of it. Now, most of the heavy lifting in terms of playing in this video has been done by my friend Alfie, who is a fantastic guitar player. I asked him a few months ago if he could come round and demonstrate this guitar, and he graciously did so the other week there. So I just recorded some of him playing it. He is way, way better at demonstrating this guitar than, than I could ever be. I mean, I have done a couple of chords in it, but it has to be said, Alfie's playing is far superior, so thank you to, to him for doing this. He'll be demonstrating some sort of cleanish sounds. And more overdriven sounds. So they all started working for Fender in 2003. I think they had a lot of jobs before that, repairing guitars and working for other companies. Moved to Fender 2003. Not long after 2005, he moves to the custom shop. And then in 2011, he becomes one of their master builders. And, you know, from the things I read, I think he's viewed as, you know, one of the very best in the, in the business, certainly in making these Fender guitars. And without giving the game away here, I mean, it is a lovely guitar, I have to say that. So let's look at the construction of this guitar.
So when you get these, these custom shops, master builds, they come with all the details of the guitar, all the specs, um, as the guitar's made of ash, 63 telly, the pickups, twisted neck um, bridge, twisted telly bridge, does have a four position switch. I think when the position is furthest up towards the neck, I think that's the, the pickups in series, it certainly sound, sounds a bit louder. So, uh, so you get that and it tells you who wound the pickups. I'll put a closer up picture in here. So, um, I mean, it's, it's all the best of stuff. 63 Telecaster. So after I got the guitar, I did a search on YouTube just for Dale Wilson to see what other stuff he built. And you never guess what. This actual guitar came up in one of the videos. It's from Peach Guitars, a company down south, down in England, I think. They must have been in the, in the Fender factory doing an interview with Dale. And he just pulled this guitar out and said, uh, oh, I made this for the NAM show, I think NAM 2019. Because as we saw, this is a neck date of 2018. So he must have made this guitar like a one-off guitar for the NAM show of 2019, but it didn't get finished in time. This was something for NAM actually, and I just didn't make it. No. Nah. So kind nice. of a kind of a fire glowish type inspired thing, you know. So I think Peach Guitars, because the original receipt is still in the case, they must have imported this. Maybe they actually bought it in the in the Fender factory visit. So it was crazy, you know, just do a, a quick Google search, a quick YouTube search, and, and there's my guitar being held up by the person who made it, one of the Fender Master Models. You could make it up, folks. You could not make it up. So let's hear some amateur sounds. Let's hear me just playing through a few chords and letting you hear the different sounds in the four positions and different levels of gain as well. Thank you. 
So it really is a lovely sounding guitar, I have to say. It's very nice. But we'll get more sounds at the end. We'll get better sounds, a better quality of playing and better quality of sounds at the end of the video from, from Alfie. So, why did I get this guitar? So about six months ago, I found myself, I guess, in the enviable position of where I had too many guitars. I just had too many guitars, not all expensive guitars, a lot of the stuff that I'd imported from Japan and stuff like that. They, they just needed to go. I needed to make room. And I wanted to have less guitars, but I wanted to, to retain the value. I guess from the point of view that, and I've said this in loads of videos, I will sell most of my guitars at some point. I don't need all these guitars. And at some point, they'll be sold to, to whatever, to, to finance a 25th wedding anniversary holiday for, for myself and my wife or something, or whatever, you know, just to pay bills. So I wanted to make some room, and I wanted to retain the value. Now, I got in touch with the Guitar Guitar, and I told them what I was planning on trading in, nine guitars. And I said, I'm looking for about £6,000. And he came by and said, yeah, I think we can do that. We can come to an agreement with that. So they came round and took nine guitars. I wasn't robbed. It was all consensual. They took nine guitars and they brought this one round. Now, before I got that one, I had looked on the Guitar Guitar website for guitars at about £6,000 or something. And I saw this guitar on the Guitar Guitar website. A lot of guitars there. I thought it looked really cool. It's like a, it's like a Rickenbacker fire glow almost, like a, like a sunburst, eh? Like a sunburst Les Paul, but done in a 63 Telecaster shape and sound. So I thought... That's probably the one I'm going to guess. So that's when the guys from Guitar Guitar came down with the van and they relieved me of ownership of nine guitars and they left me with this rather attractive guitar here. Fender Custom Shop 63 Tele Master Built by Dale Wilson. So the end of the video is more playing by Alfie. Again, huge thank you to Alfie for taking the time to do this. Um, I, th I think he's done a spectacular job on showing you what this guitar can sound like in the hands of a good player. As ever folks, privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now.